Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today we're in the kitchen. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I like to cook. Not all the time, once in a while. And there's a few recipes that I have down pretty pat. Today we're making banana bread. It reminds me of my mom and missing her a little bit, so I figured, hey, why not make some banana bread? Anyways, I have my ingredients here. I'm gonna give you guys the US uh, equivalent versions, and then I'll talk about the, uh, the gram and milliliter equivalents inside the description when I give you the, the recipe there. Anyways, I have a cup and a half of flour here. I've got a cup of sugar. I've got three ripened bananas. Make sure they're ripe, make sure they're brown. Um, the recipe works best when they are. It's really hard to mash them up if they're not. Next, I have two eggs here. I don't know what else to say about them, right? <laughs> In here I have half of a teaspoon of vanilla, I have half of a teaspoon of salt, and I have a teaspoon of baking powder, or baking soda, my bad, baking soda. Uh, in here I have a cup of butter, and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take the sugar, and I'm going to put it in here, and I'm going to cream the butter and sugar together. All that means is basically mix it up. In order for this butter to be worked with, if you will. I had to put it inside the microwave for a little bit, maybe 20 seconds to soften it up. Now keep in mind that this, uh, I didn't do it with this <laughs> metal uh, bowl. I did it in a different bowl and then I transferred it to here. But this one's bigger, it'll allow me to work. After you're done creaming your butter and your sugar together, it should look something like this. Um, basically, it looks like the makings of a sugar cookie, if you will. Looks good already. Next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and take your eggs and your bananas, add them to this, and start mushing everything together. Um, you want to beat the eggs a little bit while they're in there, and then you want to make sure these bananas are really mushed together. I'll go ahead and take them out, add them to the bowl, and let's get going. As you can see, I'm mashing up the bananas in here. I guess you could use a fork. I'm using the spoon that I used to mix it with. Um, entirely up to you. So I'm giving up on the spoon. I'm going to grab a fork so I can really get these bananas a little bit more smushed. I should have started with the fork. <laughs> now everything that's kind of mixed, uh, mixed together, I can't really tell how how much the bananas are smushed. And you don't want to make this bread and then bite down into a huge piece of uh, banana, I don't think. After we've mixed the eggs and the bananas, it should look something like this. I hope you can see. I wish I had a cameraman right now. <laughs> Next thing you're going to do is you could sift in the flour and uh, all the other dry ingredients before we add the vanilla. However, I'm going to be lazy. I'm just going to add it really slowly to the mix and stir as I go. So we're going to take the salt. Uh, the baking soda. Just adding a little bit at a time while you stir. You could use a whisk, those are a little bit hard to clean. I'm a little bit lazy, so I'm not using a whisk, I'm using the spoon. However, you could use a whisk here as well. Now, as we're stirring this and it's starting to combine, I'm gonna go ahead and add the vanilla. Having the lights on in here, the stove is preheating, and I have a light here for the video. This shit is getting hot. <laughs> so excuse a little bit the wipe down of the sweat. 
Anyways, back to combining and mixing the ingredients. We're really, we're almost there. After you've really uh, got this stirred in good, you're gonna make sure that there's, and here's the difficulty. You wanna make sure that there's no clumps from the flour. However, they are gonna be clumps from those bananas. You have to keep that in mind, especially because I didn't really smush them before putting them into the mix. So you'll see in here, like this for example, that's banana, that's not flour. So you wanna make sure that all the dry ingredients, including the flour, is really mixed in before you proceed. After it is, and it pretty much looks like it is here, you're gonna take, go ahead and take a loaf tin. Um, I have one of these silicone ones that I got. It seems to work pretty well. They're flexible, but once you pour the, the stuff inside here, the stuff, the banana bread uh, mixture, um, it really, it will come out really easy when it's done. In a metal tin, you're gonna wanna go ahead and grease it up with butter or with something like that. And I have butter here somewhere. So I'm gonna take the butter and just a little small piece. Actually, there's a small piece right here. And I'll take that small piece of butter with my hands. My hands are clean. I haven't scratched my balls in a while. <laughs> Make sure you have, or you haven't. I mean, if you want to add a little more flavor, go for what you know. Anyways, I'm going to take this butter. I'm just going to wipe it on in the inside. It's uh, a little soft. It's not much. Um, I'm just trying to butter the inside to make sure that this stuff doesn't stick. Um, you're not trying to leave big clumps of butter in here. Just uh, wipe it down, you know. When you're done doing so, your tin is going to look something like this. Um, you'll then take, and I'm just going to take that clump of butter I see right there out. You're going to go ahead and take this mixture, go ahead and pour it in. We don't want to leave any of this mixture in there, right? We want to get all the goodness inside. So, when you're done, just even it out, just dragging my spoon back and forth to make sure it's pretty level, more or less and wipe off the excess that I spilled right here. After I wiped off the excess, now what I'm gonna do is make sure that my oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius. We're gonna uh, go ahead and bake this for approximately 60 minutes. You're gonna keep an eye on it because obviously all ovens are different and you don't know if your oven is gonna require more or less time. Let me see if I can show you this without um, <laughs> without tilting or dropping the mixture. Anyways, it should look like this. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when it's done. When I take it out, we'll go ahead and cut a piece, add a little bit of butter to it, and see how it tastes. Anyways, we'll be back. All right, we're back. So, the bread's been cooking roughly 55 minutes. What you're gonna to wanna to do is check to see if it's ready. Grab a fork, a knife, something, stab it into the bread, pull it out. If it's dry, it's good to go, right? Let's check it. It comes out beautifully dry. This means this puppy is ready to go. Make sure you have some type of oven mitt or you don't want to burn yourself, right? So. Oof. And perfect for this video. I started, <laughs> I burned it a little bit. If you can tell here, the, <laughs> the bread on one side Slightly darker than the other, I suppose, inside the oven. Maybe you could do a little twist or something to that effect. It looks beautiful. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit, and then we're gonna go ahead and put it on the plate, and we're gonna check out this beautiful bread. All right, so I've plated the bread. Let me show you how it looks. I went ahead and cut off a piece right here. You can see the inside, it looks pretty nice. Sometimes people add nuts to this bread. I'm not a fan of nuts, because I have my own, right? Anyways, that's not the point. So, if you look, this bread came out mighty fine. If I would have uh, changed this orientation in there, I don't think I would have darkened the crust on the side. However, I know this is gonna be wonderfully tasty. Let's take a little small bite. I should add butter, right? It's fantastic. Anyway. <laughs> I hope you guys like this recipe and I hope you liked the video. I'm not sure how it came out. I haven't done one of these recipe slash cooking videos before. So this is kind of like a little trial and error. 
However, I like to cook. I know how to make lots of stuff that's really easy for the single guy or a gal. Um, however, and I like to host parties, stuff like that as well. So hopefully I'll do a few more of these videos. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and if you really like the video or the recipe, share it with your friends. All right, guys, thanks a lot. 40, I'm out.